Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who's got a new opponent for UFC 235. And the last time we talked to him, he mentioned about targeting a fight against Frankie Sainz. It is Marlon Chito Vera. Marlon, man, I appreciate the time. I mean, look, you hate you know, hate to see an injury happen to Thomas Almeida, but you've got the fight you now wanted in Frankie Sainz. Yeah, of course, you know, it, it sucks when you get the call and they, they tell you, like, oh, your opponent pull out, there's no fight. So it that hurt me is bad, but anyways they found a quick replacement, so I was happy with the fight. And honestly, it's not it's not like I want to fight the guy. It's not like I want that specific fight. When when I called him out before, it's because I checked the roster, I asked other managers who have a fight, and the guy was free. So it's not like I want to fight him. I don't give. I, I don't have a problem with the guy. I just want to fight. And then if somebody called me out, that would be amazing. I would, I would call my manager. The guy called me out. I would try to reach to his manager. Hey, you know what? Let's talk to the chef. Let's put some spice. But let's get it done. The, uh, let's get the deal done before, you know, that just goes away. So I I, I feel he thinks it's against him. Uh, and for me, it's just about make money and just fight. So I feel the call out is a good part of the game. With, with the change in opponent, did that change kind of how y- your preparations for this fight went, or or was it just kind of very well, minor? Uh, it, it it changed a little bit, you know. This guy's more like a like a guy who throws big hooks with wrestling, and he always grind people out. In the other side, with Almeida, was like a more clean kickboxer with power. So, at the end of the day, we got a scrap. At the end of the day. Sometimes the game plan don't go as planned, so you gotta fight. So I don't I don't focus too much like on the styles. I focus more on myself, be right in the ground, be right in the wrestling, and be right in the stand up and you know, go from there and then fight hard and be in the best shape I can be because that's the only thing I can control. I, I use that analogy all the time. You can only worry about those things that you can control. Um in, in terms of the preparations of this training camp in comparison to others. Uh, you know, how would you say this camp ha- has gone different as opposed to, uh, you know, say your previous two camps? Um, I feel just, I'm just getting more experience. I'm getting more confident there. I'm learning from every camp, and I, I just feel I just feel good about uh, this preparation. I feel my coaches put in a good work. I feel my teammates are are there to help me, and as as I was there before when they have fights and. For me, it's more about being healthy, uh, doing the right thing, and find ways to be better and healthier, and that's it for me. And hearing what you're saying there about you know finding ways to be healthier, is that kind of the after practices over uh, of finding different ways to kind of get the body what it needs to do to recover? Yeah, of course, get a better recovery. Uh, I'm always making research. I'm always reading and learning about food and what type of whole foods will help me with recovery. Like, it's crazy sometimes how you learn how to mix some food and that will be anti-inflammatory, how you get some vitamins that give you more energy. Like, it's crazy how much how how, how much info is out there and how, how much, like, you know, fasting, ketosis, and those things will help you just to feel better, to, you know, promote uh, promote better energy and just... You just feel better with yourself, and I'm always learning more. I'm always checking more uh, on my diet, on my recovery, on my longevity. And for me, that's like a that that that's what keep my mind out of the fight game. You know, learn how to how to be a better athlete, a better body, and then I'm mixing some stuff. I feel better. So I'm like I I, I check it out with my wife, and then I'm like, hey, let's try this, let's try that. Talk to my nutritionist, and I feel that's 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 the way to be healthy because let's be real. We take punches in the head often. We're breaking up our body a lot. So I feel like if we don't have those stuff, it's going to be bad for us, you know, make sure we're eating the right thing for that will help our brain and, and some specific organs to be healthy. So I feel that's, that's what I do. And in the other side, I just trying as hard as I can be better and putting good performances. I mean, you've been in the UFC since 2014. I mean, how would you say you look at the fight game differently now as opposed to back when you entered? 
well, before it used to be more, uh, you know, just just do whatever, like more ignorant in in the diet wise. It was just like all oh, train hard when the fights coming in, put add some veggies. But then when you start learning more, you figure it out that 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 you cannot eat as a regular as a regular person. You cannot train as a regular person. You have to do it professional. You gotta learn and put some science in your training, tell your, your coaches what you want. And at the end of the day, this is a selfish sport and I gotta make it about me because my family don't eat of me being nice. My family eat of me winning fights. So it's a selfish sport, but of course, on the other hand, you gotta find the balance and help who's next to you. So I try to keep the balance, but as I say, at the end of the day, I have to make it for me and my family. How do you find that balance between preparing for a fight but also being a father? Oh well, I just try to in my day off. Uh, I I try to have a good sleep the night before, and the rest of the day I try to give it to my family. You, you know, there's no way I can sleep the whole day and tell my family like, "Hey, get away from me! I have to be there." So it's just it's just depending on or where I am in camp. Uh, and anyways be out with my kids and family, you know, take my mind out of the fight because this is very stressful. You're always thinking like I'm doing enough or whatever. That's why I also have a mind coach that helped me keeping my, keeping my shit together. And, but anyways, family always give you the balance, you know, having my kids around last night, I went to the movies with my kid and today I just have a great day. So I just feel like you, it, this for me is not, it's all about fighting, but at the same time, it's not all about fighting because at the end of the day, I do it for one reason. That reason is my family. So what's the point to be all the time just thinking and fighting if my home is, is, a, is a bad place? I try to make my home a great place so I can train hard and no problem. Yeah, I was actually seeing on your Instagram feed, you went and saw Spider-Man. Uh, did you like it? Dude, it was awesome movie. So one of one of my first times like the movie was awesome, and I was like, ah, I don't think it's that cool because the the real Peter Parker, like the real life movie, it was cool. But when they changed the the actual actor, for me those movies were shit. But then when they put the this movie was actually awesome. Like I was probably more excited than my kid, but my kid was actually pretty excited. He bring his his Spider Man uh, hat, his his toy. So we had a good time. It, the movie was very cool. Growing up, were you uh, was Spider Man one of the the go to uh, you know comics that maybe you read or, or watch? Uh, it was more about watch the movie. I, I, I'm not into comics and books, but I'm a I'm a movie person, so I'm always watching movies and I'm always looking forward to new movies. So yeah, the, I think that's my that's my that my team watch movies. But of course, you've got the fight here, UFC 235. What what do you see as your key to victory against Frankie Science? Oh, uh, of course, you know it's something that I said before the age. Uh, I'm young. I, I'm when I feel I will be stronger, faster. Um, but of course, I won't. Just because those fights, I will take it. I, I will take the fight easier. You know, like I will go in there. I will fight hard, and I will just make sure I'm I'm prepared to go because. Sometimes people uh, oh, God. <laughs> people take it easy, like, oh, just because I'm younger, I'm stronger, I will be the guy. And then you forget about it. That guy in front of you is going to try to take your head off. And then shit happens. So in my head, this is as hard as the last fight. And it's going to be as hard as an, a made fight. So I don't take it easy. Like, I never take a fight easy. But I know for a fact, a 40-year-old man cannot keep it up with me. And then I'm experienced. I have a lot of fights in the UFC. I've been there with better guys, bigger guys. So it's just about keeping all together. Don't get out of the game plan. Don't do stupid stuff in there. And I will put him out within two rounds. And we look forward to seeing this UFC 235, of course, taking place in Las Vegas, headlined by John Jones and Anthony Smith. Also got Tyron Woodley, Kamar Usman, jam packed card taking place there in Vegas. Cheeto, as always, man, appreciate time. Appreciate the time. Let her know where they can find you on social media, and of course, those sponsors that help support you. Um, thanks everybody for the support. First of all, um, I'm grateful for the people who 
support the sport and support me. In this case, um, my social media uh, haven't changed in a while. Chito Vera UFC, Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, I try to post a lot of my training and my lifestyle. So if you guys are into the healthy stuff, follow me because I post all my food and stuff like that. And if you guys, uh, to my sponsors, to the people who support me, you know, GTS Kombucha, Siete Foods, uh, Oni, uh, Citizen Water, all the people that support me. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting about one or two. But, you know, I will post it on my social media anyway. So thanks, everybody, for the support. Uh, Milk Connect, provide all my food. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you, brother, for this uh, time talking.